guys, it's Nicola. So this is your second, third, it's your third take. Um, first time I was not prepared. Second time, all of your cards were in reverse. All of them. The message for the second reading was that someone wasn't being sensible within their thoughts. It could be in the space of making an unwise decision, especially if they have some unwise motives. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June 9th. What guidance do we have for Gemini? All right, Gemini, we have Angel of Emergence. It says it's time for the real you to emerge. Y'all might see the lighting go in and out. We still got the storm down here. So what messages do we have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June the 9th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have? All right. Libra, we have Angel of the Universe. It says you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. Let's see what messages we have for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Aquarius. Some, all right. So we got two. The first one we have is Angel of Relaxation. It says, let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want. And we have Guidance of Knowledge. It says, start to apply what you already know and trust your intuition. The underlying message for all of my air signs is Angel of Guidance. It says, a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. All right, so let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Some are rising in the this is for June the 9th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June the 9th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Seven of Cups. Confusion. So some of you guys are confused. Um, you could be in a space of being confused about what you feel, confused about what's in your heart. Okay. So we have Tower here. If you are confused, there's going to become you're going to gain some type of revelation, especially with the Tower and the High Priestess. All of a sudden, you're going to have some clarity. So, okay. We have the Temperance here. Um, Sagittarian energy here. You also got Cancerian energy and Scorpion energy here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're needing to have mental and emotional balance. Yeah, some of you guys feel at a lack. Ten Swords here. Five. These came out together. Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. So some of you guys are needing to put an end to a difficult or a challenging foundation. Embrace the end. I'm going to keep those together. I feel like you need to embrace the end of being at a lack, being unhappy, four of cups. So for a lot of you guys, you may be confused as to which direction to move forward in, but knight of cups here, four of cups. I feel like you need to balance your emotions. Allow, your, allow them to flow how they need to flow, because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're kind of keeping quiet about how you feel as well in regards to something. This is going to create a transformation. You are transforming emotionally. Um, Queen of Pentacles here. Now, this Queen of Pentacles came out in reverse previously. Queen of Pentacles with its Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be needing to look at a situation sensibly or compassionately. You could be in a space of holding on or in a space of kind of holding back. Um, I feel like it's time to move forward. Six of Swords. I really feel like it's time to move forward. I feel like you need to balance your emotions. You're confused as to how, but I don't feel like it's a how. It's a, it's an action that needs to happen. You need to be in a space of moving forward. Let me turn this down see if that helps <laughs> yeah it was so bright i ain't like that all right you know i like that like my true color to show all the time all right so let's see here we got the tower here why is this two top why is this tower here it's two tower maybe there's two towers so and the the high priestess is a two so this could be two people going through a realization that it may be time to embrace the end of a difficult situation Page of Swords here. It's challenging because Moon, there's some deep feelings, some deep fears here. Knight of Pentacles world, there needs to be an end to some sort of responsibility or an end to the way things have been going um, on a day-to-day. -day. Some of you guys, I feel like you could have been at a delay, taking your time. That's over. No more. 
no more. I feel like someone was doing this out of fear. I don't feel like that is an, an option anymore. So I do feel like if I've been seeing a lot of energy because, okay, this is the thing. When you read tarot, you read energy. If I'm reading the energy from one sign and they're separating from a relationship moving forward, whoever they're separating from, that energy is going to show up. So sometimes I don't always read from the person that's leaving. Sometimes I read from the person that is either being left or in the space of recovering from a heartbreak. This looks like this could be you deciding to move forward. This could be a mutual thing. You could be really in balance or really in alignment with um, manifesting the end of something. But on the flip side, I do see someone also in the space of being discontent about this having to end. And someone also being confused about someone else deciding to move forward. Like, I guess it's like, why? Why are you choosing to move forward? So we got a high priestess here. Why is this high priestess here? This is basically, when I'm looking at these cards, tower, high priestess, temperance with the ten of swords. This is like someone realizing that it's time to embrace the end of a difficult situation or a challenging situation. That's that's what it that's what it says. Um, high priestess here. So we got high priestess clarifying the high priestess with the four of wands. Some of you guys know that this plan or this cycle is complete um you could have had a lot of plans with the situation but devil card here it was karmic it was 3d it was um 3d based material based two of wands here with the death there's no more being at a crossroads i feel like for a lot of you guys it's you know you know you're not at a crossroads anymore it's really no more illusion everything is out in the open some of you guys are in the space of just embracing that that a cycle has complete or that something has completed alchemy here now, i'm not saying you're happy about it but it's 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 acceptance so two of swords here some of you guys you could be at a stalemate divine timing at play here hierophant here so some of you guys there may be a time like a, a time limit you may be there may be a time limit like you may have to get a divorce you may have to wait until the paperwork is filed um anything but moon card here half into a source some of you guys you may also realize that whatever this is that you're embracing the end of was in, was blocking maybe a private relationship a secret relationship because for some of you guys there there is a secret here um <laughs> of course not a secret to the person who is doing it but to the other party ten swords here why is it ten swords here why is it ten swords here uh -oh. uh. So we got Eight of Pentacles here with the Three of Wands. Yeah, some of you guys are invest. You're, you're embracing the end of. You're embracing the end of investing into some sort of partnership, something that you were um, in the space of just having a lot of patience with. I don't know if it was an actual relationship or it was just a situation that maybe you were just kind of waiting around to see what was going to happen. Nine of Wands, you're overcoming that magician, Knight of Cups, really taking action, manifesting some movements. And I feel like you're manifesting that movement based off your desires or based off what you feel. So we have the Five of Pentacles. Now, some of y'all, even though you're moving forward, I do feel like someone's in the space of kind of blocking or holding you back. Yeah, Five of Pentacles here. So some of you guys are seeing the bigger picture around a relationship or around a connection. It was immature. It was it's probably something you rushed into. I do feel like there's, that's the change within the foundation. You're in a space of kind of seeing the big, bigger picture around something. So the change is within your foundation. You kind of see things clearly. And you know now it's time for you to kind of wipe the slate clean with the situation. I don't feel like to re-begin. I feel like to just fully close out a chapter, to be honest with you. So we got Four of Cups here. Why is this Four of Cups here? Uh-oh. We have the King of Cups, yeah. Some of you guys are unhappy. Um, you know what you feel. King of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Some of you guys are unhappy about going back and forth. Um, or you're unhappy with someone you're dealing with, going back and forth with other people. Maybe even someone from their past. Some of you guys could also be unhappy about uh, a situation dealing with children. Maybe that's an op a obstacle within a connection or something. We got Knight of Cups here. So, we have 
Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups. Yep. Someone's really moving off of their emotions. Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups. And someone's laying down some burdens, really in a space of maturing enough to walk away from a situation that was oppressing them. Ace of Swords, Five of Swords. Someone's going to speak the truth um, about what was challenging them or what's creating the challenge for them. There may be an argument here, but Strength, Ace of Pentacles. Someone is finding the strength to move on toward a new opportunity. Temperance here. Someone feels like it's time for them to move forward. So we got the death card here. Why is this death card here? We got Queen of Wands here. Yes, yeah, someone is moving in a new direction. Ace of Cups here with the Eight of Wands. Someone's got a new opportunity. So whether it's a new person or just a whole new life, someone is in a space of moving forward, really wanting to. Temperance, Empress, Six of Cups, want, wanting something to grow. Someone feels like it's time for them to balance their emotions and grow. Someone's made some emotional adjustments. Um, like I said, embracing the end of a difficult situation, someone is letting go. Queen of Pentacles here. So we got Empress, Seven of Swords, Tower. Someone's releasing some deception or releasing some control of an unstable situation. Queen of Pentacles here. Now, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Someone is realizing that... I don't know if someone's realizing that they've been lying or realize that they've been lying to themselves. Someone could realize that they've been holding back lying to themselves. Nine of Cups here. Nine of Cups with the Five of Pentacles here. Someone needs to allow their concerns to fade away. Someone was worried. Emperor, Empress, Tower. So, I feel like someone is looking at a situation sensibly. Someone's wanting to release some unstable situations or release some de deceptive behavior. So, someone could be in a space of releasing some deceptive behavior here. Um, really creating balance within themselves, whether or not this is an actual couple coming together or this is just someone that is coming together as a whole person. Four pentacles here. So we got nine pentacles, four of cups, judgment. Someone here is unhappy with their decision. I feel like someone's unhappy, and I'm going to be real with you. I feel like someone's unhappy with their decision to either stay single or someone is unhappy and is making a decision to gain their independence, which could definitely be what is happening but with the four of pentacles here someone was holding back so i kind of feel like for some of you guys you were in a situation that was maybe not a relationship or something that was um a reoccurring back and forth type of issue and you may have some regrets of not letting that situation go in order to pursue who or what it is that you truly desire so we have six of swords here i really feel like for a lot of you guys are moving forward um six wands shouldn't me Two sixes here. You're making adjustments. You're moving forward. Uh, Queen of Pentacles here. Could be moving toward an earth sign. Lovers here. Knight of Wands. Someone could be making an impulsive decision to take action. Uh, all right. Let's see what guidance we have. We're going to be using the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Prosperity. Okay. What messages do we have for Gemini? Oy. So we have independent. It says your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. All right. So let's see what messages we have for Libra. We got peace. It says there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. And I know y'all love y'all peace, Libra. So... Let it all out. What messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, Aquarius. We have sacred space. It says create an altar or visit a powerful place to connect with the divine. And underneath it all, for all of my uh, air signs, we have focused intentions. Right now, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all.